hello good people welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you how to analyze gravity data using surfer we will be able to plot contour maps and create cross sections and also separate regional data get residual data if this is the content that you like please hit the subscribe button don't forget to like leave a comment or any question thank you uh, we'll start with a uh, surfer worksheet then I will import data from Excel I will copy my Excel data I have my X as the easting values my Y as the nothing values and my Z as my gravity data the first thing we want to do is to save this file save us it will be saved as a dat file we can call it trial we save Then the next thing we want to do is to to open a plot you can just click here or here new plot or come to file and open a new plot and i can do then we grid the data we will use the data that we've sa we've saved as a dart file and here it, it looks okay but you may change the um, the nothing values you can adjust the nothing values to switch whatever you want to do you can just leave it at that the grid report is generated you save the grid report then the next thing we want to do is is a create a, a contour map so you come here to map new and a contour map so you use the the grid data which we've just created right now so you get this our contour map let me zoom it a little bit and you can use a different colors for the grid map then general if you want to do contour filling or just want to leave it like that whatever you want to do with your map so i would want to fill it and use that color so that is my contour map uh, the next step of what you want to do or uh, to this contour map you can as well use a scale you can put a scale there or if you don't want to just leave it a scale is good to show what each color code represent what is the value that it represents and you see how your gravity values are varying the things on the nothings so uh, I, I don't i don't really need a scale the next thing we want to do is slice and create a cross section so the very first thing that we do is we digitize so to digitize come here to map and digitize this depends on the the area that you were on on your map that you want to cut so probably uh, uh um, when you look at your map and you say uh this the, this area looks like there's something of interest there's an, an anomaly there uh, I want to digitize here up to up to there so this this is what I get after digitizing so you will want to save this save this as a digitize we just leave it there but make sure you save this you save this as a PLN file save So to see what you've done to to create a 
a cross section on what you've done with thin slice slice come here to grid to grid we slice use the grid data then the digitized data so here uh, on our output you have output bln file we have to rename that one uh, what do we, we let us call it slice and then the other output we get is a dart file I just name it slice they will be different because one is dart the other one is bln we save that one as well and then we say okay so after doing that we want to add a, a base map so you come here to map and add base map we will use the the data that you've sliced to add a base map to use the slice bln you get that one from there we want to get uh, a, that that cross section we want to get the data and be able to separate the regional data from the the combined data to get residue then we we can plot it or we can export that data to graph to dz or euler deconvolution we have here to file and we we open we will, we will open the the digitize that file the one that you slice that is that file that one so we have a a b c d e we do away with the e we do away with the the the, the e because that one is what we had with our uh, nothing and always then we do away with that one then we take our um, d and we copy to a our c we copy to b so this is the data that we will take from here and take it to our excel sheet i've already done that so here is my data already I already did that. I copied the X and the Y. So the next thing that we want to do is to get the slope, the slope of the data. So to get the slope, we we, we use the we can use the the Excel equation, the change in Y by change in X. Uh, we can use the bracket there we can use that one minus may probably take a value down here no that not our c our a and b so it should be b2 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 minus we take the the last value so is that it's about to take values that are Uh, what happened? What happened? B two minus B one four, and we divide by change in X minus. Uh, you remember how we did the basic maths in high school? Get the gradient, then and um, found a typo. Yeah, see, oh, uh, yeah, I need to then you enter so you get your value here as negative 7.1644. So, this is our gradient now. Uh, to get my residue here. What I did is I combined all of it, but uh, you can do a for you can do step by step. So what I did, you know, the equation y is equals to mx plus c. So this is my equation. The the y is equals to mx m x. It's my x plus my c, my constant. I use this one as my constant. So for me to get the residue, I have to subtract 
the, the, the combined the combined data is my, on my b value then I, I i remove the region of value which is calculated using the y is equals to mx which will be in this case the whole of this is my y i subtract from the combined to get my residue so this is the direct equation there b2 i use b2 minus b2 is the combined so this is the whole of the combined the this one b2 minus my m the gradient that i've already calculated here 7.1644 multiplied by a2 which is my x value minus my constant the constant in that case was this b there after getting that one i got all this that's the data i got then i took my my x values and my residual values here I copy pasted them here let me just remove that one i copy pasted them here and i plotted a scatter diagram and this is what i got from the residue and it looks pretty nice now to get the depth you can use the half width width method for calculating or you can just take this data to graph to dc and yeah just play around with the density contrast and all that and all that but this is the the, the beginning the start area where you start before you you proceed to your deconvolution or to graph to dc yeah that's about it thank you if you have a question please ask and if you have any comment Leave it on the comment section below. Thank you.